Nam karibu tena. Na washikadau walioko karibu na ziwa Naivasha wameelezea wasiwasi kutokana na kiwango cha maji chafu pamoja na taka zinazoelekezwa kwenye ziwa hilo kutoka kwa mitaa iliyo karibu. Imebainika kwamba kiwango fulani cha uchafu unaoelekezwa kwenye ziwa hilo ni hatari kwa samaki pamoja na viumbe wengine walioko ziwa Naivasha. Haya yanajiri wakati ambapo samaki wa ziwa Nakuru wametangazwa kutokuwa salama kwa matumizi ya binadamu kutokana na kiwango cha kuchafuliwa kwa maji ya ziwa Nakuru. What we have here is a catastrophic kind of situation. And I must uh, say that thanks to the governor, Susan Keheka, for at least allowing us to have such a program of upgrading our estate. Because whatever we have here, if we don't clean it today, we'll head straight to the wreck. It will affect the fish, of which it does affect the fish. So we are in a situation whereby we can say that the fishes of Lake Naivasha one day might be like uh, those of Lake Nakuru. Because this is where all this drain is heading there. This magic is stagnant. It has been a lot of mosquitoes. Then we are not provided. We are not provided. We are not provided. We are not provided. We are not Drainage ya kehoto sahi itapungua na maji yale ambayo yameweza kuzoea kusimama pale yataweza kupungua kwa sababu sahi to avoid ugonjwa kama TB, malaria. Tumekuwa tukiadhiriwa na magonjwa kama typhoid, tumekuwa tukiadhiriwa na magonjwa kama malaria. Na siku ya leo tunaona hizo zote zitakuwa tutakuwa tumezisahau. Na watu wawili wamekamatwa hadi kufikia sasa kukupiga makelele wakati wa ziara ya Rais William Ruto katika kaunti ya Bomet. Mratibu wa masuala ya serikali katika kaunti ya Bomet Daktari Ahmed Omar amesema wanasaidiana na maafisa wa upelelezi kwa uchunguzi. Daktari Omar amedokeza kwa viongozi wa kisiasa hawatasazwa kwenye msako huo akisema yeyote atakayehusishwa atachukuliwa hatua za kisheria. Yes. Yesterday. Yes. Uh, what is the uh, what is the political guys and their supporters? Okay. We are following uh, three uh, groups of people. We are following <laughs> those planners, uh, the finances, and those who are actually on the ground. Uh, we have evidence of some who who are, who are injured, and we have information that some are not are trying to run away. But I want to want to tell them that uh, there is nowhere they safe for them. Uh, we can get them even if they go to Nairobi or, or, any, or anywhere else. We want to also warn them that uh, uh, we have enough information about them and we are following them very closely, even for those who, may in, who have the intention of doing so in the future. <coughs> it will be very hard for them. And uh, there are concerns that politicians are involved in this and the CS was very categorical about this. He gave instructions to us that are very clear that uh, there's no sacred cow, whether you are a politician of high standing or not, the police will definitely go for you. Nam uh, kando na hayo wana kijiji wa eneo la Ngoingwa huko Thika kaunti ya Kiambu wanalamikia vikali kuwepo kwa kiwanda kimoja katika eneo hilo wanachodai kinatoa gesi hatari wakazi hao wamekuwa kilalamikia kutokana na uvundo mbaya unaotoka kwenye kiwanda hicho na kuharibu mazingira ya eneo hilo aidha wanadai baadhi ya kazi wameanza kupata matatizo ya kupumua no memory I have been in this building and we have noticed a few things. This place is a residential estate. So what that means, we are not allowed to transact any business. This is not commercial. We should not even have any kiosk in this estate. So let alone now having people producing lab chemicals around this, it is not allowed by law. 
who gave them the mandate to conduct a business enterprise in the residential areas. And more so, they are talking about uh, packaging of laboratory, laboratory chemicals. And you already know that in any case, if they are doing that, they are mentioned that it will come out and automatically they are going to affect the area allowed here. And therefore, as the neighbors, we are saying no to this particular enterprise. We cannot be sure these, these people can do anything. You can even, you know, because after all, they are heavily guarded. If it did not come with the police, nobody could have entered here. I've already taken a, a copy of the business permit, and I want to go, go back to the office and find out what exactly, how exactly they get uh, this certificate because, or this permit, because uh, there's a process that is followed. Na serikali ya kitaifa na ile ya kaunti ya Nairobi zimetenga shilingi milioni miatatu kwa ujenzi wa soko la South B lopo kwenye kiwanja kilichokuwa kimechukuliwa na mwekezaji binafsi. Ujenzi wa soko hili la kisasa unatarajiwa kuanza katika kipindi cha chini ya miezi miwili na kuchukua miezi 12 kukamilika. Mwakilishi wadi wa Nairobi Kusini Mwaidhara Shege amesema kwamba baada ya ujenzi huo kukamilika maandalizi makubwa yatafanywa kwa lengo la kuunda nafasi za ajira kwa wakazi wa eneo hilo. You remember this lad was grabbed. Na tulikuwa na petition katika bunge na petition ya bunge ikakuwa na resolution and one of the resolutions was that this is public land. Na hiyo resolution ya bunge pia ndio imetusaidia kotini kuweza kuwin hii kesi. Watu wa South B tumesema kwa kauli moja ya kwamba sisi hatuna soko hapa. Ukiangalia watu wote wanauzia bidhaa zao kwa barabara na katikati ya barabara. We are going to do a modern market here. The market will be a story market up to three levels. So it, it will accommodate uh, the fresh produce on the ground floor. Then the other services, for instance, for mtumba and clothing on the upper levels. Tunausia kwa barabara, mpua inatunyechea, jua inatupiga, but kwa saa hii tunafuraia mutu atakuwa nafugia pitu yake kwa kioski dani na sikosevu mahari pare. Tazamaji takwimu zinaonyesha kwamba kati ya watoto elf moja wanozaliwa watano kati yao nakabiliwa na selemundu ya nisiko sel katika eneo la seme kaunti ya kisumu. Hospitali ya kombewa inahudumia watoto miambili hamsini wanokabiliwa na hali hiyo. Kulingana na shirika linashugulikia watu walinyo na tatizo la selemundu, kuna haja ya uma kuelimishwa kuhusu jinsi ya kuishi na watu walio na tatizo hilo ili kuwasaidia kupata huduma za matibabu pamoja na mahitaji mengine katika maisha yao. Many people always told us that we will not be able to reach 15 years or 18 years. Yeah, so that was my biggest fear. There's a lot of stigma because people don't understand sickle cell. They don't understand what kind of disease it is, how it comes about and how you can live with it or, or, or how, how to handle it. That's number one. Number two, the costs. Uh, having gone through all this, I know the costs are very, very high. We have a catchment area of uh, 24,000 clients and out of the 24,000, every, for every 1,000 baths we give, five of them turn out to be sickle cell. Sicklers face so many challenges and uh... It's unfathomable living with sickle cell disease. But it's also possible to live a happy life with sickle cell disease. For them, we can actually know by uh, doing screening as early as childhood. We have neonatal screening systems that are done in most of our facilities, but the county can only do sickling tests and HB electrophoresis. Na wakilishi wa bunge la Kirinyaga wamepitisha sheria mpya ya kudhibiti biashara ya pombe ambayo inalenga kulainisha utengenezaji, usambazaji na unywaji wa pombe katika kaunti hiyo. Kaunti ya Kirinyaga ndiyo ya nne eneo la Mlima Kenya kupitisha sheria ya kudhibiti biashara ya pombe. Finance and economic planning should consider allocating. 
Tukiwa na watu wengi ambao wako kwa ulevi hatuwezi kuwa na nafasi nzuri ya kusaidia wananchi wetu. Sisi leo tumepitisha the third reading na tumesema kwamba kama we uko pale na unaweza pombe na njia ambayo ifai. Kama uko karibu na shule, kama uko karibu na any institution, tafadhali tunakwambia sio tu tunapiga investors lakini tunaangalia future ya watu wetu. Change the process of licensing. We we'll have uh, two levels of uh, licensing at the application. Anybody who intend to run a uh, that kind of business here in Kirinyaga, you need to make an application to sub-county uh, uh, alcohol control drink committee. If you go around our towns, you'll find that most of the people who are affected by the illicit, uh, illicit brews and also uh, uh, abuse of substance are the youths. And so we want to call upon our youth, be sober. We have seen some of them are allies. Some of them are teachers, some of them are doctors, but they have been reduced to nothing. Na katika shiri yetu, tumehalalisha pombe ya muratina kama hii ya utamaduni. Kwa sababu wale wazee ambao wanataka kunywa pombe, na wana pesa ya kunywa pombe ambazo ziko na pesa nyingi, wanaweza kunywa muratina. Kanda na haya kampuni ya Kenya Power inaendelea kukadiria hasara kubwa kutokana na wizi wa Transformer pamoja na unganishwaji usio halali wa nyaya za stima hali ambayo inaathiri utoaji wa huduma na usambazaji wa umeme haswa katika eneo la Pwani. Kulingana na meneja wa kampuni ya Kenya Power eneo la Pwani Phineas Marete katika kipindi cha mwaka mmoja kampuni hiyo imepoteza jumla ya Transformer nne katika eneo hilo. So it's the same thing, but uh, we send them differently for you to appreciate. They tell you that you are in the 1980s, <laughs> so we get proper shots. So thank you very much, Anne, for that. Um, again, smile for the cameras, there are many of them. Thank you very much, engineer. Thank you very much for your support. Due to the department. We have quite a number of cases involving people calling customers telling them that they will be disconnected if they don't pay them some money. Others are being told that, oh, we will give you a huge quotation if you don't pay us this amount of money. All those are criminal activities. Our security teams have been up and moving. We have made quite a number of arrests involving members of the public. And therefore, I would want to imagine that Going forward, our message to the customers will be do not pay any monies outside the official KPLC pay points. That's the message we are telling everybody. Please do not pay any money to anybody until you go to our official KPLC pay point. Na Kenya itaungana na mataifa mengine duniani kuadhimisha siku ya misitu duniani hapo kesho. Inakadiriwa kwamba misitu imechukua takriban ekari milioni 37 za ardhi ambayo ni asilimia nane ni nane ya kiwango cha misitu humu nchini. Serikali imekuwa ikiendeleza juhudi za kuongeza kiwango hicho kuanzisha kampeni za upanzi wa miche kwenye maeneo mbalimbali ikilenga hasa kupanda miche bilioni 15 kufikia mwaka 2032. Lakini je, jamii inajukumika vilivyo katika kufikia kiasi hicho cha miti na kuongeza kiwango cha misitu nchini? Sam Amani na taarifa zaidi. Huku Kenya ikiungana na mataifa mengine kuadhimisha siku ya misitu duniani, jamii hizi zinaendelea kuweka juhudi kuongeza kiwango cha misitu nchini. Elizabeth Gadoni, mwenyekiti wa shirika la Kijabi CBO, anasema kwa muda sasa wamekuwa kiendeleza shughuli mbalimbali za kutunza miti kukiwa kuihamasisha jamii kuhusu muhimu wa misitu. Gadoni anaitaja misitu kama mapafu ya ulimwengu. Anasema japo wameweka juhudi hizo pana haja ya mashirika kama hilo kukabidhiwa miche zaidi ili kufanikisha malengo yao. Activities nyingi tumekuwa tukifanya especially za shamba system kwa msitu. Watu wako na elimu umuhimu wa miti. Saa tukashikana kama CBU. CBU ni community based organization. Tukawa tuna work pamoja na KBS kuelimisha watu umuhimu wa, wa miti. Aidha Peter Kinuthia mmoja wa kazi wanaoishi karibu na misitu anakiri kwamba uhamasisho mara kwa mara kutoka mashirika hayo 
ya kutunza mazingira mawasaidia pakubwa kujua namna ya kuilinda misitu anakiri kupungua kwa mvua kutoka na shughuli za kibinadamu hata hivyo anasema baada ya kupanda miche umeanza kuona faida tumeanza kuikumbatia kuwa mali yetu tumewahi kufundishwa na dio nimeona tumekuwa na young leaders yani wasichana wadogo kama mwingine aliyekuwa hapa waka wakapata elimu wakatuweka elimu hiyo kwetu sasa tumejua foresting mali yetu sio mali ya watu wengine ni mali yetu sasa tumejua sasa tukiwa na forest tutapata maji wakati tulikuwa watoto kulikuwa na mvua nyingi na wakati tulipoondoa miti ikachomwa mvua ikapungua likawa ni jua linawaka kila wakati baadhi ya wakazi nao wakiwa mozakari ya maina masharia anayepongeza mashirika hayo kama vile safaricom kwa kuyasaidia mashirika kukuza miche na kisha kuipanda kwenye misitu kwa masingira mimi najua umuhimu yake ni ku benefit community na na kila mtu hata wanyama kwa hivyo kutuza mazingira ni kitu ya maana sana maadhimisho ya mwaka huu ya siku ya misitu duniani yanafanyika chini ya kaulimbiu misitu na uvumbuzi baraza la umoja mataifa UN lipitisha siku ya machi 21 kwa kuadhimisha siku hii katika kikao kilichofanyika mwaka 2012 ikitengwa saa kusherekea na kuhamasisha kuhusu muhimu na aina zote za misitu samamani kt news Chagweni kaunti ya kuhudumu ba au kufanya kazi mliojiriwa kufanya na serikali ya kulinda usalama nchini. Hili ni onyo ambalo limetolewa na mratibu wa eneo la kaskazini mashariki John Otieno kwa maafisa wa usalama ambao wanajihusisha na biashara ya ba pamoja na pombe ya kizazi cha pili. Kwa sasa kundi linalohusisha maafisa kutoka na kada, idara ya polisi na maafisa utawala wanaendeleza msako dhidi ya pombe haramu na miadarati katika eneo la kaskazini mashariki. Uh, Illicit alcohol, second generation alcohol and drugs have become become a menace in this country and as a result and through unscrupulous business persons a number of citizens have lost their lives. To that end the government issued a directive to ensure that we clean up our areas of jurisdiction of illicit alcohol, second generation alcohol, drugs, that is bangi and other, other related drugs that are being abused by members of, of the community. And I want to take this opportunity to confirm that we have made good progress in terms of combating the illicit brews and arresting those who are floating the regulations. Na mtazamaji wacha nikome hapo kwa sasa niwapishe wanazilizala lakini tuka kwangu ni kuheri ya kuwa nana. Mimi ni Bildin. Waliula.